Hello, my name is Foss, and I'm here to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up this, a DualShock controller, with your Project 64 emulator. First things first, and this is just assuming we're starting from scratch, okay? The DualShock controller isn't even synced to our computer. We're going to have to open up our settings here, and if your computer has Bluetooth, not all of them do, so double check that. Um, you can always wire it in using a USB cable, that's just fine. We're going to add this Bluetooth device. Click on the Bluetooth to sync the controllers. You have to hit the PS control or the PS button and the share button at the same time until it flashes. Hold those down, and you'll now see it is flashing. Kind of hard to see with my camera, but it is flashing. Um, we're not going to hook it up to my TV here, the big woman, but we're going to hook it up to this wireless controller. After that, I was going to say we are good to go. If you haven't used a controller before, I might download some drivers for you, but just a little heads up there. But you can see now it is connected. I can close out of that and we'll move on to the next step. And let's just say you need to download everything. So we're going to start off with Project 64, the emulator of choice for me and myself. Um, use whatever works best for you, but this is what this tutorial is focusing on mostly. We'll use that first link. We're going to hit the sketchy download button here. Okay. And download. We're going to get this execute file. We open that up. We'll give it permission to hack our computer. And then we get this here, which is the setup wizard. We'll hit next, save it wherever you want to save it. I like to keep things somewhat organized, I guess. So I'm going to save it to my applications file, change the name ever so dramatically. And I'm going to create a desktop icon. I'm not going to launch it right now, but I'm going to hit finish. Now that I have that little icon there, should be able to drag it right over there. Okay. From there, we're going to download the next thing here we need, which is that DS4 Windows. So DS4 is DualShock 4, but still, it works with the DualShock 5 controller as well. So I'm just going to do DS4 Windows download. And I'm not going to choose this J2 Kings. I'm going to choose this one from the GitHub pages, which is by Ryochan7. If you click on that first one, it's going to look the exact same, but... Um, this is the one that works best for me. So I'm going to download. I'm going to download this version 2.2.15. Okay. I'm going to download the x86 file, the zip file specifically, until that loads down here. And boom, we're going to have that under our downloads here. So I'm going to extract that. Um, we're going to extract it again anywhere you choose. Okay. Um, keep it consistent, maybe. I don't know. It's up to you. I'm going to extract it to my applications folder again. And there now you're going to see that DS4 Windows is there and the Project 64 both there. Next thing we're going to roll with. Not 100% sure if this is necessary, but I'm going to do Project 64 and Rage. Okay. First thing that pops up is this input plugin v2.0 download. Just download it. And once that's downloaded, we're going to move it into our Project 64 folders for the plugins. I'll show you how to do that here in a second. So you can see that zip folder is there. I close on this so you can see a little bit better. So downloads, Enrage input v2. I'm going to extract this. And again, choose a place. So I have to go back to my applications here. Project 64 folder. We have to go into this plugins folder and then into the input folder specifically. Okay. I'm going to do that. We're going to extract it there and boom, that's all in there along with the PJ64 and Rage, which is just part of the Project 64 download. Close both of those. Um, DS4 Windows has a bad habit of not making itself a shortcut so I have to go in there each time to make my own. I'm just gonna do that quick here, create shortcut and we'll bring that up there. So we'll close that. First thing we're gonna do is open up this DS4 Windows. It's gonna ask if you want to give up your all your info on your PC. Just say yes. Okay. I like to save mine to the program folder. You do you. But now you're gonna hear like beeping noise. My controller just connected. Okay. 
light is going to be blue on my controller. If you want to double check if it's actually connected, just go to the custom colors here and just adjust the colors a little bit. You're going to see as I move that slider, I'm going to get different colors on my controller here. So that's connected. I like to leave that default profile alone right now, but what I'm going to do is go into the settings tab. From there, I'm going to open up this X input checker to bring up this screen right here, okay? So it'll probably bring that full screen like this for you, whatever. But on the controller, just mess around with it a little bit. You should see the buttons um, correlate with something up there. So this is just the buttons that like my PlayStation controller are mapped out to a Xbox 360 controller, okay? So all that stuff is mapped out correctly. If this is not working or if it says not connected up here, just close DS4 windows completely. Open it back up again. Make sure your computer or your controller um, connects. So you'll see when I hit the X here, it's going to ask if I want to disconnect all controllers. Sure, whatever. If I do that, you're going to hear it disconnect. I open this back up again. Once it opens up, my controller should reconnect automatically. Um, if not, I just turn my controller on. There we go. So again, it's connected again. Go back in there, double check the X input checker. Make sure everything looks good, okay? That should stay connected now, so you are good to go. So DS4 Windows is working. I'll just minimize that for the time being. We're open up Project 64 here, okay? When you open it up, it's gonna ask you what language. Choose your language. It's gonna open up the screen like this. From there, we have these options, you should see all these as black. If they're grayed out, you probably downloaded the wrong file or the plugins weren't in there correctly. So just double check those. But we're going to go into the settings. Pause the emulation window is not active. It's up to you. I like to turn that one off personally. Plugins here, we have all the plugins. And right now I'm just going to leave it as what it defaults to, the PJ64. But it does give us this option, that second plugin that we downloaded, that input plugin V2. That's in there as well. So we always have that option going forward. So first thing we're going to do, second thing we're going to do, configure our controller options here. If I click that, it should bring this up and you should see three buttons up here. Plugged, X input, N64 mouse. Um, I'm not plugged in. I'm not sure if it actually makes a difference because I never run wired. But I'm going to uncheck that one. I'm going to check X input. Okay, and one thing I do like to do while I'm doing this too, just to make sure everything saves correctly, I'm gonna open up my files, go back into the Project 64 area, and I'm gonna open up this config folder up here. Okay, when we open it up, you should see all these here, and I'm just gonna show you a little something here. So as I'm going through here, I'm gonna map out these buttons just as I want them. Again, set up the way you like, mess around with it a little bit. Um, I mean, it's your controller. You do what you want here. I'm going to set this up how I enjoy using it. So left thumb stick, I'm going to use as the analog stick. There's only one analog stick because this is the N64 controller that's mapping it out to here. Um, right thumb stick. I can't really use the C-pad because there isn't a good way to do a C-pad on a controller. So I'm going to use the right thumb stick as the C buttons in this situation. The D-pad. Doesn't always work, but I'm still going to set it as the D-pad. I can hit save here and save again. And now we're going to see two new things popped up here. I have this NRAGE with the little gear icon. Then I have this X input controller one configuration. So that being said, I close this again. I close this too. I don't need that. Okay. So now we're going to open up project 64 yet again. So at this point here, everything should be working, but let's just take a look here. We're gonna open up our Pokemon Snap again. See how this goes. Again, my controller is plugged in already. You can see the lights there. So in theory, I should be able to hit start and go to the menu. So that's working for me. Let's start again, that new game. And here's this. So. Bad thing is, 
the D-pad doesn't really work, okay? You have to use the um, analog sticks. For some reason, my analog sticks were really wacky at first. So if that's the case, like right now, mine only goes left. It doesn't go right, up, or down. Open up our DS4 windows again, okay? I'm gonna open that up. I'm gonna open up this X input tracker or checker again, okay? So you're gonna see that there. Now again, any move, any direction there, it's picking it all up. So I'm not sure what that issue was. So again, you can move left, not right. So I'm gonna check one more thing here. I'm gonna go up to the options here, into those controller options again, and I'm gonna uncheck plugged because for some reason that checked itself again. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna move up here to devices and this dead zone here. Usually defaults way down low to 25, maybe even 15 or 5. I'm just gonna put it right in the middle. Okay, I'll do like 55. Save. See if that helped at all. Now we have a no-go on the controller whatsoever. So let's try something else. Here, I'm not gonna close the controller, but I'm gonna close this here. We're just gonna reopen it again. And trust me, after you've done this a few times, um, it's eventually just going to fall into place. I'm not sure what changes. Um, maybe it's just me being garbage at what I do. But hey, it is what it is. You know, I just like to drag and drop the game in there just to start it. Controller is still hooked up, ready to go. I should be able to hit start, bring us to the main menu. Again, that worked. Start again. X for new game. Now, boom. Like I said, I don't know what I even changed there. Yeah, I don't think I changed anything in that dead zone. I changed a little bit, but it shouldn't have that much of a difference to where this is now functional. Yeah. But we'll fill this out. So F, ooh, SS. And then start, A. And we're rolling just like that. We are good to go. So that's really all there is to it. I'll say that's all there is to it. That took me like three hours one day and lots of Google searching just to figure out and then it just fell into place. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Otherwise, trust me, if you're having issues, just delete everything. If you already have Project 64, delete it. If you have DS4 Windows, delete it. Um, if you have the NRAGE system, delete it. Okay, and just start from scratch. That's what I ended up doing. It works so much better. That's why I just did again for this tutorial. So hopefully that works out for you. Um, but yeah, as of right now, which is March in 2021, this is what's working for me to make Project 64 work with a PS5 controller.